All right, hello. So today I thought I'd do another thrift haul. I've accumulated these items over about at least the last month. And so most of them, or I believe actually all of them, should be under $6. The more expensive items are actually the pants. But even then, so they don't pass over $6. So that's going to be pretty good. The first item I got was actually these pants. They come from Hollister. I got most of my things from I think it's called brand name I try to put the name right here and it is a thrift store but it's actually really good I like it because it's actual people that come and sell their clothes in there these pants are a size one and the waist is 25 I range in Hollister pants I'm usually a size 25 24 I think and 26 I believe and the length is always wearing is like 31 or 29 I'm gonna roll them up. I like to wear them with boots and these were actually in the cloth section so keep an eye out for that. I didn't know there was a cloth section and a jean section. I used to buy so many Hollister jeans back in California and if you know they're kind of expensive. Kind of not but $5.25 for Hollister jeans like that's really good. This is telephone ringing. <laughs> shirt is actually from the thrift store too. I don't think I included it in my last haul. I'm not sure, but I didn't do a try-on haul. It's really cheap. I believe it was around $4, and it's really comfortable. It's really lightweight, you see? It's not see-through unless, I, you know, I'm going to do this, but I don't do that. I wear it just with shorts underneath sometimes, or I wear it with perhaps, like, leggings underneath or jeans underneath. It's just really comfortable, lightweight, and just super easy to just throw on whenever. I try to keep a mental track of, like, how many things I bought and, like, around how much they were. That way, like, it... It's always correct in the receipt, but you know, what if they're like, oh, I was like, this was $4 and it comes out to like $5.99. I'll be like, whoa, 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 whoa. This shirt, it was super cute. Sometimes when I go in there, I don't usually find anything. The little buttons in the back is open. But I don't usually find a lot of things. I find like one or two things. One time I found like four things, but I make a lot of trips there. Each time I find like two things and it's like, it's like the gem. You know, I'm going under the ocean. I don't know where gems are. I'm at the uh, pearl. I'm in the ocean. I don't like water. I don't really, I can't swim. So this is, this is just really going out there for me. It's like going in the ocean and you don't really find anything. And then one time you like opened a shell or something and the pearl's inside. I'm just going to stop with that. And it's really hard for me to find shirts to put underneath because I used to have some, but they're really bulky and it was kind of uncomfortable underneath another sweater. So when winter time comes along, I really like to put collar shirts underneath. Alright, the next thing I found was actually this skirt. I don't know, I still have hangers like back in the day I used to shop with my mom. Oh, it does come off. I used to shop with my mom, I still have a bunch of those hangers. This skirt, there was two skirts. This one was from Hollister and I found it first. And then I found one from Brandy and I love clothes from Brandy. So I thought, Probably the Brandy one is the one I'm going to go with, but I didn't. I've gone always to Brandy, and all the clothes from there, like the skirts, not all of them, but most of them were really thin, the ones that look like this, and that's the reason I hadn't bought them before. I used to try them on at Brandy Melville, and most of them were really see-through and like super lightweight, which is comfortable, but really see-through, like, I don't know, I don't want to walk around, like, you can kind of see through my skirt, that's not the thing I'm for. So when I found this one, I tried on both of them. This one was really comfortable. It's a size extra small, but I feel like maybe it was stretched out or something because it didn't fit tiny or anything. It fit perfect. Next thing I bought was a shirt. I've heard about Zara so much, like YouTubers are all the time like wearing clothes from Zara, but I had never seen anything myself from Zara. And so when I ran into this, I looked at it and I really liked it. This, what's this color? I don't remember anymore. I'm gonna call it diarrhea brown, but a nice diarrhea brown. Organic cotton W and B. I don't really know anything about Zara just yet. And then the sleeves were actually really open, which so I just throw, like I said, another shirt underneath from Brandy, and then I'm good to go. All right, so the next thing I bought is gonna be, I don't know, I like it a lot, but it's probably gonna be a little strange because it's really oversized. It's an extra large from Banana Republic. Super comfortable, super huge. I was thinking I was gonna wear it with shorts underneath, but then it might look like I'm not wearing anything underneath. So maybe during like 
I don't know. I'm not quite sure. I'm going to have to try and figure it out. Maybe during like the fall time or like the winter time, it'd be really good for layering, just throwing your like tights underneath. And I really like clothes. It's just really oversized, as you can see. And maybe I'll throw a cardigan on top of it, a necklace. Just, I'm just, I'm just throwing balls out here. Just catch one if you, if you, if catch it if you want to, you know, if you don't, just let it fall to the floor. Next item is this sweater. It's kind of oversized too. I've never heard of this brand, but it's called Alternative Earth. And it's a sweater with a size medium. It's just kind of like lightweight and it's really comfortable. My niece had a sweater just like this and I think it was probably like either from like Cotton On or American Apparel, I don't know, something like a nice brand that is like really expensive and like that's why it was so comfortable and I used to wear it all the time when I went down to California. I would just take her sweaters all the time because they're so comfortable. She always has like some of the best sweaters. So when I saw this one, I had to get it. This would be like perfect because it's so lightweight and so comfortable. Did I mention I like the sweater so much? I don't think so. All right, next thing I got was this black shirt. I'm going for things that would be like, I think very versatile, like I can wear with like anything, which is what I usually do, but these I believe I could really wear with like anything. And it's just, this one's also from Zara. It's so organic cotton and it's really comfortable. It's really like thick, but it's really loose. I just loved it so much. It's just a basic black top. I like my tops to be like, a straight on the bottom. I don't really like my tops to be like the little half circle. I don't know, that's just me. The next thing I got was this H&M sweater and it's a size small and I believe it was $4.50 and when I saw it, I was super excited because I don't know, I have another sweater just like this one and I believe it was from Brandy Melville or maybe Urban Outfitters and I, I wear it all the time during winter but it's thicker and this one's like a softer light material like you know like maybe like the collar could come out of like this sweater I can't even there we go so the collar could come out like a sweater like this during like fall and winter so I thought that would be really cute it would look something like that like and usually I wear these and I put like leggings underneath or something because it has like the front is kind of like shorter but the back is a little bit longer so it covers your bum and you don't have to really worry about like oh my god they're looking at my butt cheeks but no they're covered up we got you i got you all right so the next thing i have is from brandy melville i was surprised i actually found something it's like one of the first items that i saw that were really good and from brandy so i was really excited to find it and i believe it was probably i'm I'm gonna say I'll put all the I'll put all the information afterwards. But this one was I believe I'm guessing five fifty, and it was really comfortable and I like it because it's like I don't know it's not a material I have owned before. Like this I don't know. This, I feel like it'd be really nice like when I go back to California I used to be at the beach all the time. But sometimes at nighttime or like kind of in the afternoon it was getting kind of cold for me. So I feel like this one would be perfect for just throwing it on top at any time. And it's kind of like, it reminds me of like fishnets, but like put together and like really soft. I don't know. This one was from Ericombi and Finch. It's actually a size small. It's just like a really loose, super comfortable dress when I found it. I actually found it in like the nighttime section, but like, I don't know. I think it's a regular dress. At least to me, it's going to be a regular dress because I was thinking during like, winter or even like fall I can put like some leggings underneath it throw a cardigan over it a necklace a beanie and it'll look like just a really cute it's so comfortable and it was only like four dollars and this one was actually now that I think about it this one was actually at Goodwill I think it's one of the only items that I bought somewhere else and I had like they had like an extra 50% off on certain days like certain tags are on sale so that's when I like to go the most Next thing I got, I think I'm going to cut off the sleeves, but I don't know. I saw it and I had to have it. I thought it was so cute. The brand is A Lab and this is a size small and it's like, it's like a black shirt and it's got a cat in the pocket. The tongue sticky now. It's so cute. I really, I don't know. I've been seeing a lot of girls at school like randomly wearing these and I'm not sure how I'm going to put them together. I'm thinking just like a comfortable white top and it's just like really kind of baggy like thin lightweight material 
I usually don't buy a lot of Forever 21 stuff anymore because I don't know, I'm not really, I don't really go there anymore and when I see their clothes at the thrift stores and stuff, like it's not really something I like. But when I saw these, I was like, I have to give them a try and they were only, I believe, $4. So I was like, I'm definitely going to give them a try and see if I can pull it off. They were a size small and so they have pockets, which is always a plus for me wait they don't have pockets no they do have pockets bottom is like a little bit more fitted and the rest of the leg is kind of more loose and lightweight and it has pockets did i mention it has pocket although the back pocket they tricked me i was trying to put it wait i think i can make it work because sometimes they sew the pocket closed but if you kind of you know pry it open it could work and this one is the second to last. We're finally there. We're finally there. And at first I thought they were, like, at first I thought they were tiny hippos. And I was like, that's adorable. And then I was like, what is Cappy? I guess that's how you say it. And I was like, what does that mean? I don't know what it means. Like, what if they're, like, saying something really bad? It's like my mom coming out from, like, my childhood. I was like, what if it means something bad? What if you're representing something bad? And I was like, what does it mean? What if it actually means, like, we're going to kill hippos or something? And I would lift it up everywhere. And it turns out they're like oversized, like the hamsters. They're like oversized guinea pigs or something. And I was like, I'm sold. That's it. That's all I had to know. I like put it in my basket and from American Apparel. And I don't know, it's like really comfortable and it looks really new still. So I looked everywhere too. Like I was looking at AmericanApparel.com and like everywhere and trying to look up what Cappy meant. And so I'm pretty excited. It's so cute. It's actually a size medium it's kind of big and overfitting and the back there's two like gigantic guinea pigs or whatever on each side i don't know i'll show you in the video it's really cute and then we're on top wearing a little crown so like i said i can wear it out and i can wear it for pajamas so it's like a win-win i like oversized pajamas itchy all right we're finally at the end i feel like it was a long time i've been doing this without an air conditioner because or else you guys wouldn't have been able to hear me but woo, it's hot. I was walking around Goodwill because I go to Sprouts and then sometimes I like to just go peruse through Goodwill that's there because they actually have some really good things sometimes. These were originally $5. I have to clean them a little bit still. And I saw them and they looked like my style from the top, obviously. Like I wear a lot of black shoes. But then I looked at the bottom and I was like, what's this? I don't know what this is. And I realized they were tap dancing shoes. It says tap on the bottom and I was like, you caught my interest and now you have my attention, continue. And so I tried them on, they were my size also. And then I realized like, I thought it would be really fun to buy tap dancing shoes and they were like 250. So I now own a pair of tap dancing shoes. Zach is like, I guess it's never too late to learn. And I got home and I was like, tap, 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 tap. which is actually, I don't know, I'm gonna have to wear them out to actually enjoy them now that I think about it. Cause I can't, really wear them here because we're on the third floor and I bet my neighbors are going to be like is she wearing cat dancing shoes? Like am I going crazy or is she wearing cat dancing shoes? But I don't know. Now I am a proud owner of cat dancing shoes and I have no shame whatsoever and I will be wearing these probably to school and that's pretty much all I have to say about that. <laughs> oh my leg is itchy, what's going on? This mirror is from Goodwill. We went to go to a coffee shop with Zach, and then afterwards he was like, do you want to go to Goodwill? And I was like, don't play with me like that. What's your game? And uh, it turns out there was no game. We went to Taco Bell afterwards and ate some Taco Bell, because I love Taco Bell, we love Taco Bell. And then, then we went over there and we were just kind of like, I wasn't really looking for anything in particular because I didn't have to find things that are like half 50% off and I had to find things with the tags that I like. And then in the back, I saw this mirror. And I've moved down from California like almost a year ago now. It's been over half a year. And I have not had a full length mirror. And I used to have full length mirror doors for my closet. At one point I had like mirrors just full length mirrors in my room and I just I'm always constantly trying to see my outfit so when I found this one I ran to the back I was like throw Zach to the side I'm just kidding but I threw I, I didn't throw him and I saw this and at first we it took us forever though to figure this top part out because 
there's like stickers on the top part and we were like what is that i don't get what's happening and then we were like we thought it was a skateboarder first thing that comes to mind looked like a skateboarder then we realized it was a girl and we said arizona and we're like a, a z we were like we were like a z dame that just not sure what's happening and turned out they were on roller skates turns out dames means girl arizona the Arizona Dames and they're on rollerblades and I don't know everything just clicked together when we were in line and then when I got to the front of the line this was originally I believe $9.99 and it was like that night only you get 50% off everything and I was so excited because I was like you're joking right now I was actually exactly was like what are you doing because I kept looking at the people in front of me like how are the things so cheap where did I find them and I kept looking at the prices and they trying to like look over the lady's shoulder she must have been like Pa, back up girl and she's like oh so it's gonna be five or four ninety nine and I was like what'd you say and she was like four ninety nine everything is on sale today and I was like I am so excited so I got this mirror for four ninety nine and I am one happy camper right now so now this is gonna be the end of my video thanks for watching and I guess I'll see you guys next time and that's it